They are now setting up the stage over here by the Grand Theater and the Christmas tree. They're gonna have like a special ceremony and all the Christmas lights will turn on, including the tree right here. Cannot wait for that. Here in the Mrs. Claus kitchen, they have the souvenir cups you can purchase. They also have some specialty items for Holiday in the Park. Alrighty guys, so this is what I got. The turkey platter with some macaroni and cheese, green beans. They also have a dinner roll on the side and then some cranberry. And of course, I did refill the hot chocolate and this is going to be awesome. I cannot wait uh, to try it all out. It looks uh, just incredible. And I, I have had their turkey before along with their mac and cheese and green beans. And I gotta say, the food here at Six Flags America is superb. So we'll definitely be trying it and of course I'll review it again. But who, like, who wouldn't want to eat in front of this Christmas tree right here? This awesome setup, like, wow. This is like the ultimate way to spend your holiday. So dinner was awesome if you are at Six Flags America. Definitely check out or get some of the food. We are about to see the Christmas tree lighting ceremony over here by the Grand Theater. And so it starts at five o'clock, just about five o'clock. And then after the ceremony, we'll go over to the Grand Theater and we'll see Home for the Holidays, which is a great show. They actually were um, showing it last year. Can't wait for the ceremony. It's definitely like the official start to Holiday in the Park. Look at that sunset over there. Pretty cool. <laughs> ceremony here at the nation's capital of thrills, Six Flags America. Are you guys ready to light the Christmas tree? No, no, that wasn't good enough. Ask you guys again, are you all ready to light the Christmas tree? Now, I'm gonna need you to count down from 10. Go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Merry Christmas! Bugs Bunny! Wonderful time if you can see, snow is coming up from the top of the Grand Theater. Yeah. It's the. I love the lighting here on the Christmas tree. Of course, we'll be back later to get some photos with the characters. Perfect photo opportunity, especially when the lights are on.
And look at Main Street, it looks even better, like, wow. After the uh, Home for the Holidays show, I have to walk down Main Street and uh, show you guys everything that there is to see. These trees look spectacular. This is actually the Candy uh, Cane Lane area. And then we have a photo opportunity right here. Looking awesome. And like I said, it is now time for Home for the Holidays. And they actually uh, have kept the same show from last year. It is a great show. Check out the view of the moon or the crescent moon with the Christmas tree. Wow, does that look awesome. But you know what's even more awesome? Unlimited hot chocolate and thrill rides. It's all waiting for you here at Six Flags America, holiday in the park. Here at the Grand Theater, we have Christmas lights. So I actually have just about 15 minutes before home for the holidays. I decided I would actually show you guys Main Street with all the Christmas lights illuminated. I think now's the best time to cover it since the uh, sun hasn't fully gone down. So we'll probably get some awesome like shots of Main Street. They even have the trees all lit up and it smells great. Like they have like scented each uh, area of the park. I noticed that for Holiday in the Park, they have the screen over here turned off. It's the little things that they do to really make the uh, experience immersive. And by having that screen uh, you know, turned off, you can really focus on the Christmas decorations and everything else here at Holiday in the Park. And as we continue to walk, gotta say the main entrance area is just so immersive. Like when you first walk in, this is what you're gonna see. Assuming that the sun has gone down and you know the lights are turned on. It's snowing! It's, it's snow here at Six Flags Holiday in the Park. Now technically, yes, this is artificial snow, but or it's like more so bubbles, but could it snow here at Six Flags Holiday in the Park? It probably could because we're here in Maryland and this time of year it does get cooler. So it could definitely snow, but for those of you who are used to my Orlando vlogs at Park Casino in Orlando, when it snows, that's all, of course, never real snow. Wow, does this look awesome. The main entrance for Six Flags America. Of course, they have all of the lights going all the way down. Look at that snow coming down. Awesome. Look at this, the snow is in full effect. It's snowing here at Six Flags America. All right, now that you got to see the snow, we got to do some rides, we got to see some shows, we're gonna see Home for the Holidays, and I am actually home for the holidays, so this actually kind of relates to me. <laughs> but, and I also got my hot chocolate, so this is, this is awesome. By the time we are done seeing Home for the Holidays, it will be fully dark, we'll be able to uh, really appreciate all of the Christmas decorations. Since the Wonder Woman Lasso of Truth swing ride is so tall, they have a flashing light at the top of it, that is for clearance, so, you know, you have airplanes passing by, they can see the tower. Been jingling all night long with somebody called Santa Claus. Hey, little Jingle Bell. Hi, Pops. How's my baby girl? All good. What time is it over there? Oh, 0900. Private Sam reporting for leave. So excited to see you guys. Oh, we are too. It's all your brother can talk about. We can't wait to have you home. Sam. Are you okay, Sam? Sam, are you there? Sunshine. <laughs> well, that does not look comfortable at all. Good morning, baby. <laughs> Did Sam call? Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, great. I knew she would. I have an idea. Let's start with coffee. <laughs> You too, Billy. <laughs> William, sleep well? Yeah, I slept okay. Weird dreams, 
Yeah. You hear from Sam? Yeah. Sam's home tonight. You must be so excited to see her. Yeah, it'll be great to see Jen and Tom. And uh, you gotta call that one William because he just found his first test there. Dad, please! Oh, sorry, it's old habits. Jen, Tom, and William is. <laughs> How about some hot coffee and some yummy holiday breakfast? Oh, sounds delicious. Yeah, let's eat! Skyping, there were sirens and explosions, and we got cut off. I'm really worried about her. But that's happened to us a couple of times, too. Listen, I'm sure she's fine. messages, but you're late, Oscar's waiting, Billy's hungry, and Jen's pregnant. I know, crazy, right? again this year uh, it's still amazing really good show so here at the coco corner you can actually refill your souvenir mugs for six flags holiday in the park with hot chocolate at this location you can also purchase treats and uh, here they have mini donuts you can get a basket of them and of course hot chocolate there are the prices and they also have marshmallows here for the hot chocolate they are complimentary thank you I like how they have special signage for most of their rides. 
And uh, yeah, they renamed the Scrambler, I believe, is the Peppermint Swirl right now. I'm now walking over to the North Pole, and check this out, they have projections right here on the ground. So they have Peppermint Swirls. This is awesome. And as we approach uh, the North Pole, they have even more projections. Check out the North Pole. Wow, does that look awesome. And a close-up of all of the buildings. Love the lighting, lots of different colors. They also have Wild One all lit up, which is nice. And then of course the mistletoe. This is where you would purchase s'mores and the kiosk is all lit up, decked for Christmas. And then of course we have the, I guess you could call them warmers too, but mostly like s'more areas. And Santa's house is all in white. Now I will definitely be trying to see Santa a little bit later. And I actually did get a chance to see him last year and the experience is awesome. It's not just, not just going in there and you know seeing him. They actually have a story that kind of builds you all the way up to seeing Santa. Over here we have some more buildings. Actually, we have the restaurant right here, and obviously not a jail, but you know, restrooms. It's all lit up, looking good. Of course, over here we have Reindeer's Flight, Mind Eraser, and check out the lighting. It looks great at night. I definitely will be back later and I will try to get a ride on reindeer's flight at night. So if you guys happen to come to Holiday in the Park and you want to warm up, you can first of all get hot chocolate or you can warm up here by the um, campfires. Just standing over there for just a second really warmed me up so that's pretty awesome. So you know, you're riding coasters, you get pretty cold, definitely go over to like the campfire area uh, where they're doing s'mores and you can warm up. I do like this photo opportunity right here. You know, in select areas of the park, they do have Six Flags Holiday in the Park signs on fences, and you can definitely, you know, pose right there and get your photo taken, and it's a great way to capture the memories. Over here at the Candy Cane Cafe, they actually have peppermints projected onto the building. Looking good. I'm now approaching the mistletoe, and you can have a mistletoe moment over there. And here it is, the mistletoe. Of course, we have Apocalypse and Wild One in the background. I think Apocalypse would be a great ride to ride at night because not only would we get Wild One's uh, cool lighting on camera, but we'd also get the mistletoe in the background. And here is Roar at night, also looking good, but I don't know if I'm going to ride Roar at night. I think I'm probably gonna focus like on Apocalypse and then possibly Wild One.
I love how they made use of Apocalypse lights and they are flashing red and green when they are not uh, operating Apocalypse. Here we have Holiday Magic and all of the LEDs are synchronized to the music. Occasionally they will have a Six Flags Holiday in the Park text like go across, but yeah. The text going across saying happy holidays from Six Flags. Happy holidays. Spread the glow here and everywhere. Today and every day. I think this adds a very nice touch, and this is one of my favorite elements for Six Flags America's Holiday in the Park. When we walk up to the Apocalypse Station, we will be able to get an even better view of Holiday magic. snowflakes that are projected onto the ground right there. Perfect touch for this area. And if you look at this particular snowflake right here, you guys can see that those ovals are actually like coaster tracks, or it seems like that. The top of the Apocalypse Station makes a great area for observation. You guys can see a lot of the park from here. And uh, one of the best things about the Apocalypse Station is that you can see holiday magic. <laughs> Thank you. 
see the Let It Snow show, which is actually not too far from where I am right now. And then of course, after I see the shows, I mean, those are the last two shows I haven't seen. After I see both of those shows, I'll try to do a few more rides, and uh, I guess we will have then done everything here at Holiday in the Park. But, I mean, the best thing is the shows and the night rides, and uh, just the general atmosphere. There is Apocalypse, and of course, the show we just saw, and then turning around, I did want to point out that Bourbon Street Fireball is open, and look at those lights. Now Gotham City is closed, and they do have a restricted area fence up right there, but I heard rumors that in future Holiday in the Park years, they might open it up. We'll have to see. Check it out. They have this like inflatable snowman teddy bear holding a present, and then a wild one in the background, and the train station is looking pretty good too. I believe that is one of the meet and greet areas. It's called the Holiday Express, and I'm not entirely sure if they have the train running, but here's a great idea. I believe somebody else thought of this, but what if they had the train running, but they kind of themed it to, I, I don't know, like a Holiday um, Express attraction, so you'd have virtual reality headsets on, and you'd actually be going through uh, some other area. I don't know, it wouldn't be Six Flags though, it'd be very immersive. I don't know if they do that, but Seems like a pretty cool idea. Another one of these Six Flags Holiday in the Park signs make for great photo opportunities around the park. I really do like this background right here. It says Holiday in the Park Retro Christmas USA. This is a nice photo opportunity. Now, I don't know if they have a meet and greet planned for this particular location, but you certainly can get your photo taken here. I am now here at the Showtime Theater and we're going to see Let It Snow. As you can see, I clearly have everything under You've been freaking out, haven't you? Of course I've been freaking out. Party starts soon, yeah. and the house still isn't decorated. Don't worry. We'll get it done. Hey, let's put on some music so we can get this place decorated, hey? Hey, Alexa, play my favorite Christmas song. What's your favorite Christmas song? Don't worry, you know Alexa, she takes a long time. The weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It doesn't show signs of stop, and a broad support for pop. The lights are turned way down low, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss the night, how I hate to be out of the store. But you really me tight all the way home I'll be warm Jingle bell, jingle bell 
Cheer as loud as you can on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three, go! it snow and wow I was not expecting the snow I mean I kind of knew that there was gonna be something snow related I just didn't really know how it was gonna happen or where that was pretty nice check this out they have lights all the way up in those trees like Six Flags America is very lit up for holiday in the park I don't know if I showed you guys the Christmas tree at night but wow does that look good so we have Daffy the duck and Tweety over there and they're doing photos right in front of the main Christmas tree fire Sorry, that was cool. I just went over there to warm up with the fire. I actually missed part of the fire on camera, but I still did warm up, so that was nice. Of course, they do have fireplaces around the park where you can warm up at, and uh, the hot chocolate also warms you up, too. Over here, we have Bugs Bunny, Daffy the Duck, Sylvester, and also Tweety. They're all posing for pictures. It's awesome that they have all four characters out. You can get your photo taken with them in front of the Christmas tree. I actually just got my photo taken, and I will certainly include it in the video. Perfect photo op. They are awesome. While they do have many Christmas decorations around the park, they also have some displays for Happy Hanukkah and also Happy Kwanzaa. Over here we have some information on the candle and we also have some lanterns all above here with some candles in them. And if we walk over here, some more candles. And this is awesome, check this out. See, this is uh, them going like all out and totally decking the halls for Christmas. So for those of you that celebrate Christmas, we have baby Jesus on display right here and then they also have some information which you can read. Another one of these s'mores locations over here by the Looney Tunes movie town. So I haven't yet shown you guys the Mardi Gras area at night, so we are now going to walk through the area and check it all out. Here we have some special lighting on the plants and looking good. And as we uh, walk further into the Mardi Gras area, I've been noticing that Raging Cajun has some special lighting. Over here by the French Quarter Flyers and the Big Easy Blasters, going all the way over to Hurricanes, we have some Christmas lights and then some Christmas trees. This is a nice touch, looking awesome. On top of Hurricanes, they have Mrs. and Mr. Claus. And here we have the snowman all lit up, of course, with Wild One in the background. They also have some very cool looking ornaments around by the Wild One. The whole station is also lit up. Well guys, I am just leaving Six Flags America right now. Had an awesome time at Holiday in the Park. Incredible event, worth uh, you know heading out to if you are in the area. Uh, definitely you know worth bringing your family and friends. Thrill rides, hot chocolate, shows, amazing lighting, entertainment, just all around great event. So yeah, Holiday in the Park. I will now be showing you guys uh, kind of like the area um, where you would enter into the main entrance at night with all of the lights and then we'll kind of uh, conclude this vlog.
And here is the main entrance for Six Flags America during holiday in the park. Very charming, love the lighting, and uh, you know, definitely welcoming. They recently, in the last few seasons, have uh, transformed the Discover Line, Discover Line entrance into a pass holder entrance. So season pass holders get their own entrance for Six Flags America. Hey! <laughs> and here's one last view of the main entrance for Six Flags America during their Holiday in the Park event. Of course, we have the main, uh, you know, ticket scanning area entrance. Uh, all lit up and then each of the ticket booths have their own lighting so it all you know uh, looks great and all comes together very nicely and the guest relations and ticket processing buildings are also all lit up of course they have different colors they have red and green lights and then the main entrance is mostly white and we end off here at the six flags america road sign with all of the christmas trees in the background perfect touch and everybody, you know, passing by will see that they are celebrating Christmas or the holidays. So uh, I had a great day today. Um, I wanted to thank Six Flags for allowing me to have permission to film on some of their thrill rides. And uh, I'm sure the footage turned out amazing. And I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. But overall, amazing event. Uh, definitely one of the best holiday events I've ever been to from the, you know, entertainment, the shows, the rides, and even like the Christmas lighting around the park. Anywhere you go, you see awesome Christmas lights. I mean, they really put a lot of work into the entire event to make it spectacular. So, again, I wanted to thank Six Flags and uh, had an awesome time. And of course, I will be coming back, um, of course, next year. And hopefully they are doing Holiday in the Park, um, you know, continually every season. So I'm so excited, you know, for future seasons. And again, I will definitely be back to experience Holiday in the Park 2018, in addition to some of the other seasons. I know there's a lot to experience next summer here at Six Flags America. Well, so long Six Flags America. I will hopefully see you in the 2018 season.